In this lecture, let's have a little fun by adding in some mathematics and some primitive ASCII graphics. What I'm going to do is I'm going to print the sine curve sideways in the terminal window. So let's copy just about any file to sine.c and emacs that. Okay, the first thing is we need to include math headers in math.h. Next thing is define a new variable called angle. And we'll use a for loop again. Okay, we're going to let the angle range from 0 to 360 degrees, but we have to note that in C, when we're using trigonometric functions, they take arguments as radians, not degrees. So we let angle be less than or equal to a predefined value in C, which is math pi. M pi is defined in math.h and is simply just pi. And we're going to let our loop go from 0 to 2 pi radians, which is 0 to 360 degrees. And our increment is going to depend on the height of our terminal window. Okay, so we need to define height here. Assuming you're using a terminal window that's roughly 24 by 80, which is fairly standard, and if it's not, you can adjust it to be that, then we're going to have a height of 22 which will be half the height, I'm sorry, which is roughly the height. And now we want to, what we're going to do is that for every single, we're going to, every single angle we're going to call sine, see what the number is, uh, rescale it according to the width of our terminal window, and then print a star in the proper location on the window. So I'm going to have to define a function, print stars, or print star. I'll explain this in one second. All right, first of all, sine of an angle returns a value between negative 1 and 1. So let's add 1 to that so we get numbers between 0 and 2, because we're going to print a star at a certain location on the terminal window, and that location can't be negative. So we're now between 0 and 2. We multiply this by the half width of the screen, which should be about 40, assuming that you're using a 24 by 80 window here. So this will return values now between 0 and 80. Now, these are, this will return floating point values, and we don't want to print a floating point uh, number of spaces or stars, we want to print an integer value. So open print int close print represents something called casting, where it simply takes the floating point value and converts it to int, and it does that by throwing away all the numbers to the right of the decimal point. Okay, so now we simply have to define the function print star. All right, print star doesn't actually return anything, so it's it's a void function. It only has side effects. It's going to print things to the screen. And it's going to print some spaces in the star. Let's declare a local variable i. i equals, sorry, i equals 1, i less than n, i plus plus, put car, space. By printing a row of spaces, we'll get ourselves into the proper position to print the star, which will be done now. Put car, star, put car, new line. and then we finish the function. Okay, let's try this out. 
Notice that when I compiled, this is the first time we've done this, not only do I just say GCC and the code.c, but I have to add in dash lm, which stands for the math libraries that have to be linked in with the compiler to sign.c to produce the proper executable. And again, this is all because we're using math functions that have math.h in there. Let's run the code, and we get ourselves a very nice sideways sign curve. So what's going on here? Remember, we're sitting there and ranging our, having our angle range from 0 to 2 pi. We are incrementing our angle depending on the height of our terminal window. Then we are finding out what the sign of the angle is. We're adding 1 so that it ranges from 0 to 2. We're multiplying by a half width so that it ranges from the left side to the right side. And then it's printing out a sequence of spaces in a row and then a star. And then it goes to the next line, prints out a sequence of spaces in a star. This shows you how handy, actually, just even primitive ASCII graphics are. We can see the shape of the sine curve just fine by doing this. Okay, so that's, ha that's having a little bit of fun with C and graphics, and we'll stop the lecture there.